The National Western Stock Show attracts thousands of visitors every January. Many of those don't have a livestock background, so we took to the streets of Denver to ask the people what they know about the stock show. Dan Green has more. We're talking to local folks here in Denver about their impressions of the National Western Stock Show. You've been there at times. I've been there. It's been years since I have, but uh, yeah, it was really enjoyable seeing all the animals and uh, watching the rodeo and everything. It was, it was a good time. Uh, my granddaughter loves the stock show. She can't wait to go again, put on her boots, put on her hat, see the rodeo, visit the animals, buy things, of course. Um, she just loves it, and we love it too, and, and just welcome here. We're just so glad to have you here. It means so much to us. We understand you went last night. I sure did. What did you think of it? It was a great time. Got great seats at the last minute, and it was wonderful. Went to the uh, rodeo at 8 o'clock. Uh, I, I grew up in the area, outside Denver, and we've gone to the stock show many years. Take our kids now. Really enjoy the chance to, uh, to go out and experience the, everything that has to offer. Yeah, I went almost every year as a kid uh, with my family or friends. Um, all the way through college. I haven't been out there. I just moved here three years ago, but I've been hearing the whole town buzz about it. I'm a chef over here at uh, Acme Delicatessen where we serve the uh, certified Angus beef hamburger. Boy, that's tremendous news and we're glad to hear it. Are you going to the stock show this year? Uh, I hope to, for the rodeo. For the rodeo, yes. I've seen it on social media, on Facebook, and I've seen it on TV and I've heard it on the radio a bunch. Radio, TV, social media, all of the above. Yep, yep, it's always a big deal every time uh, the stock show comes to town. It's always a big town time around here. Are you planning to go out there this year? I am, I'm actually gonna try to head out there um, later this week. We are, yep, we take our kids down. We like to, uh, we try to go to some of the rodeo events. We also just like to kind of walk around and see some of the events for kids. Our kids are 12 and 10 and it's really great for them. Yeah, I think maybe I will, actually. My boyfriend has some tickets, so I think we will. I hope so. I sure hope so. Go out with my husband, who's hiding over there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You have kids and grandkids who go? Yes, I do. A bunch of them going. We're going right now. Oh, good. We're going to the Mexican rodeo today. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, we'll let you get on down to there. Thank you. There's no place like it in the world. We're so blessed to have this stock show here. Good. Well, thank you very much. Well, my pleasure. If you're a Denver regular, you know that a boot shiner is one of the most important people to keep your boots looking spiffy. I'm about to go get my boots shined by Joe, a veteran boot shiner with more than 30 years of experience. Larry has been shining shoes at the stock show for years. All of his customers know him as Joe. So Joe, how long have you been here at the stock show shining boots? I've been here about, about 30 years. 30 years? Off and on, yeah, shining boots. I got up at 6.30 this morning, every morning. Every morning? Yeah, to be, up, to be here. So, Just to get get up. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any favorite boots that you shine? Like any boots that you shine that you like to wear all the time? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. Do you have any favorite boots that you wear all the time? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. Do you have any favorite boots that you shine that you like to wear all the time? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. Do you have any favorite boots that you shine that you like to wear all the time? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. Do you have any favorite boots that you shine that you like to wear all the time? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. To clean them with, and uh, and some condition all, and my brushes, shoe brush. So do you see some pretty cool boots? Yeah, see some real interesting boots. Yeah, all different colors. Do people feel different once they get their boots clean, shine? Yeah, they feel different. Some of them just feel good because they know they got a dirty boot. <laughs> a person will know if that shine or know what he's doing. Because if he didn't know what he's doing, your boots it will not come out right. Yeah. But I know what I'm doing at all times about a boot. You got to use the right polish on them. You got to clean the boot before you put the polish on it to make the boot come out just right. Yeah. And it's shining, it's shining just like, like, <clears throat> like new money. <laughs> Every year I'll be right here. <laughs> so what keeps you coming back? I like it. I like shining boots. I feel, I feel like I did something great <laughs> for a pair of boots. I 
there you go, uh, lady. En <coughs> Enjoy your shine. And that'll be uh, $15. Do you have the cash yet? <laughs> <laughs> this special episode of The Angus Report is brought to you by Neogen GeneSeq, a new brand of partner where DNA testing is powerful, accurate, and affordable.